So can you tell us the differences between American oak and European oak and the different flavors that you'll get from, from each? We're talking wood, and it's oak wood. It's got to be, by law, oak wood to mature malt twisted. Now this is a piece of uh, wood from an American oak cask, and any of our Mulvaney that's matured in this is going to pick up typically this amount of color in, say, 12 years' time. Now, the flavors that we tend to get out of American oak Remind us of flavors or aromas that are kind of like vanilla and honey and a slight spiciness. Really very tasty, lovely and sweet. If you look at this piece of wood, this is a piece of wood from a Spanish cask, a European oak cask, where the wood is naturally darker. So any of our Bovenian mature in European oak casks typically end up this color. And remind us of flavors that are more like dried fruits, a uh, bit of cinnamon spiciness, that sort of area. And actually it's interesting, if we combine both of these cast types, like we do with Mulvaney Double Wood, this is a bottle of Mulvaney Double Wood, one of the most popular Mulvaney's that we have in the range. How we make it is, well, it's matured for 12 years in American oak cast, so American oak cast mature for 12 years in American oak cask, and then after 12 years, our malt master, David Stewart, will select the casks that he needs, and we finish off the whiskey in first fill European oak cask for about eight or nine months, and we end up with Mulvaney Double. Excellent. Um, can you um, elaborate with the flavors between American oak and European oak? Does it come from the liquor that was there beforehand, or does it like from either the bourbon or the sherry, or does it come mostly from the wood? Well, using oak, of course, uh, there's great flavors locked up in oak wood. And um, with the American oak casks, the flavors that come out are, yes, a little bit to do with what was in the wood before, for example, bourbon, um, but it's much more about the natural flavors that are contained within the wood. So the honey vanilla character coming out very strongly out of um, with a little bit of hint of what was in the cask before. Similarly with the sherry cask, the Spanish cask, lots of amazing flavours, but a different set of flavours. You know, yes it's oak, but it's more about the, the um, fruitiness from the, the wood that shows itself, much like raisins and um, spiciness like cinnamon. It's naturally in the wood. Oloroso sherry does enhance that, but it's actually quite a small percentage of the flavor that's given to the overall liquid. Excellent.